Let's look at this short. So now we get, bro, we getting lit. We getting lit. We're going to go back to the ass shaking. Listen, we getting lit, bro. We got a short side now. Let's go. All right. Chat, I promise y'all. And y'all correct me. Have y'all ever heard somebody talk about the nigga that actually get hit? Or the nigga that actually go through something from being in that gang life, but being that rider, for being that shooter? I never heard. Yo, appreciate the end. We live on Facebook. Let's go, man. We live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We still got people fucking with us. All right, let's go. We talking about gun violence, right? It's easy to pick up that phone when they call collect. It's easy to say free to rail. You a real nigga. It easy to answer for a nigga in jail versus taking care of a nigga that got hit and he didn't. Man, come on. Bro. It's easy to send money, send letters to make a visit. Let's take it a step further. Your man died because of gun violence. For y'all that don't know, the guy that's talking is taking care of the guy next to him. This is man's. This is nigga that he was riding. He was a ride or die. He said this nigga right here put in that work. And this is man. And his man got hit. Now his man is over there, you know. Wow, man. You know, his man is, um, this is what his man is now. Man. Holding the block down. It's easy to say. Who doing this, dog? Resting. Who y'all know? Who doing this? I'm just being, un I haven't heard nobody ever talk about this part of the game. I never heard nobody talk about this part of the game. It's easy to carry a casket. It's easy to cry. It's easy to feel sad. What if your man don't go to jail? What if your man don't die? What if your man become a paraplegic? Man. Is it easy for you to go over to your man crib and wash Bro. his ass? His man was a regular dude at first. No, like, and, I, and I say regular with, 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 with respect. His man was a guy that was walking around on two feet, but his man was living that gang life. And they said, that's what I'm assuming. And if, if that's not the case, if that's not the case, let's make it the case. Because I could be wrong. I could just be assuming he's talking about the gang life and, and, and putting it into his, his homie. Let's just assume. there, Because we know it's real. There are niggas that out here that live that gang life and get hit and become paralyzed. They said Lil TJ could be paralyzed, but I, they, haven't, they stopped running that story. They said the TJ could be paralyzed. We know TJ from where he's saying his rap and for what the people say. The TJ put in that work. The TJ been fucking bitches, getting money, and all of a sudden the TJ got hit nine times, eight or nine times, and this nigga might not be the TJ. Man, that shit gonna hit different. Now, who really gonna be around TJ? All these niggas that claim they love Lil TJ, if this nigga can't be the guy that he was anymore, who still finna say, come on, little TJ, let's hang out? Nigga, I can break it down to us regular people in the neighborhood. When we run out of money, do our homies still come over? Nigga, I know mine then. When I lost my job, nigga, or when I stopped pimping and I ain't have no more money and I had to get a real job and yeah, and, and yeah, and I wanted to be a citizen, a stand-up nigga in the community, I know my niggas didn't come and get me. Did your niggas come and get you? I'm just being honest. They my niggas, but they ain't come and get me, though. So this is why I roll solo now. I only roll with females. You know, when I, before I got in a relationship, only roll who? I only roll with females. Oh. I ain't hang with no niggas. I stopped hanging with niggas. You say it's fake love, it's, but it's real, though. I mean, you might have a, you might have a real nigga. I ain't have no, you know, I, 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 ain't gonna lie. I consider them dude to be real nigga. But I'm just being honest. When I my dad said, my dad said, I'm uh uh, my dad said, I'm telling you right now, they're not your friends. I said, man, what you talking about? Man, we take care of each other. But it was all I was always up. I was always up. He said, I learned sign language because my best friend got shot in the head and lost his hearing. Wow, nigga. Wow. We got a real one in the chat because we know this is a real thing. My nigga said, I learned sign language because his best friend got shot in the head and lost his hearing. We don't hear about shit like that, bro. We don't hear about the shit like that. We don't hear about shit like that. I'm just being honest. We do not hear stories like this. I ain't never heard it. I've been living, I lived the game life for a long time. 
I never heard about what happened to the niggas that get hit or or end up, you know, the nigga that he don't go to jail, but something happened. I never heard about it. It's my first time, dog. You my second nigga that I heard it. I never heard nobody else talk about it. And I'm talking about, I'm 30 years old, bro. Um, he said, I don't got friends. He said, we family. Man, yo, shout out to y'all for having real, real homies and, 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 you know, real family members. I'm just being honest. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. I, man, I thought my niggas, I thought we was, man, I thought we was different. It was like, it's 13 of us. Let me see, be honest. They still click. They still tight. You know, we got niggas in the military. We got, I got, I got, I, I, like, I still can call these niggas, but I don't. I haven't called these niggas in six years, bro. But I can pull up right now. But I don't talk to them. Because I just felt like, nigga, I was hurt. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. When I, when I went down, I'm like, damn, man. Nigga, I took care of my niggas. Like, man, I, hey, anybody can tell you. I was the nigga, I was the young nigga hanging with the dope boys. And I had connection. And bro, I would let my young nigga, yeah, my bad. Listen, I appreciate that black love. I seen this shit a little late. She ain't, she ain't have it long, did it? <laughs> I let her eat on the wire part, but not the earbud. But listen, so I seen my niggas. I used to let my niggas, I had the dope boy cars. Because I was the young niggas, but I had credit. Because, you know, y'all know how in the hood, niggas give you that prop. If you got money and status and you got hoes and, and, and you got the cars, the dope boys fuck with you. You know? So that's how I ended up selling dope. I wasn't no dope boy. I wasn't no street nigga. I became a street nigga because of the environment and my family. So... I had the qualifications of a street nigga, but I want a street nigga. So, you know, I kind of like push myself to be a street nigga because I had all the qualifications of what we say in the hood. A street nigga got hoes, street nigga got money, street nigga got the dope boy cars, street nigga got them 24s, them 26s, them 32s. A street nigga got, uh, you know, uh, he's selling dope. You know, I had everything but the dope. So I was like, well... I got the cars, clothes, the hoes. I need to sell the dope. You know, so that's how I end up selling drugs. Nigga, I ain't know that. I don't know that about no drugs. I still, bro, I'm so clueless to drug that the only thing I did was I would go, I had a somebody that I knew. <laughs> I almost said somebody I knew was a big dog. So I would get the dope from him at a low cost and I was uh I was I would go get some people I knew and have them sell it for me because I was so clueless. Now, because I wanted to be hip, because I wanted to be hip, I was in the kitchen watching them cook it, trying to learn. But I ain't got time for that because that's not my life. I ain't no dope boy, I ain't no street nigga. But I did I did street things to and that's so cold, bro. That's so cold. Listen, y'all, I done did some real street stuff because I felt like I, I had to fit the full package. Like, I don't know why I sold dope. Bro, I had money. <laughs> why I'm sell dope? Why do I, why did I do some things I did? I can't even tell you, bro. That's why it was so easy for me to be. When my dad found out, it was so easy for me to quit because I'm like, I don't even know why I did it in the first place. Man, just I, oh my God. Like, I'm over here trying to talk to y'all. And she, circumstances, bro, I did not need to sell dope. My circumstances, I had money, I had cars, I had clothes. You know, I got money. I'm sorry, let me explain to y'all. When I was a kid, I had got a large lump sum of money because my mother had passed. So that's how I got my list. Like, I, I, like okay, let me start. Let me go from the beginning. I always had charisma. I always been good with the ladies. I always been fly. Even when I was broke, I knew how to dress. I knew how to clean my shoes up. I was a nigga with no money, living in a one-bedroom house with my dad. Rain coming in the house. I was a bum. And, and, but I looked like a nigga that because I just had swag. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, I just had it. It was just me. So I got a, we got a large lump sum of money because my mother passed. Uh, so a lot of money had came in and so now I had the, I already had the swag. I already had the personality. I just didn't have the money. So I used to fake it. 
Because I, I just, everybody fuck with me. Like, oh, this nigga lit. But with, truth be told, like, I'm lit at school. But when I go home, nigga, I'm, a, I'm nobody. I don't got nothing. I, don't, I sleep on the couch. I don't got no life. I, I play I play with chickens and live in the country. But when but when I when I go to school, I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how that is for y'all, but so uh, you know, so now so now when I got this money, when I got this money and stuff, and I got these cars, my life changed because I was already the man in my heart. But now I got money, I got cars, I've been able to talk to females. I was fingering females on the school bus. With, with with living in an abandoned house and they and they see me going to this house. That's just how much character. That's how much you know swag I had to deal with females. And I I hope y'all don't take this to heart while I'm tap holding the baby. It don't like she understand me. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't like she understand me. So 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 I did all that stuff. And then I started selling dope because, like I said, the dope boys was like, man, yo, this nigga right here fly. This nigga always got a bad girl with him. He uh, he got the dope boy cars. I had 26s at the age of 17. I'm 17 years old. My nigga riding on them sixes, bro. You know how the nigga treat you in the hood? You 17 on sixes? Oh, a nigga treated me like I was God. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. In the hood, we this, this is a status. Nigga, 17, 18 on sixes? Oh, hey, hey, young blood, come over here and fuck with us. So now I get to hang with the, the boys that really got that money, but they got their money legal way. I got money, but what? Once again, I just said I got money because my mother passed. She left me some money. So, you know, uh, but that was at younger, you know, after that, I had ran through that shit. You know, I had to start getting out the mud, you know. So I start pimping and stuff like that. Um, What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? You like well the, the babies, they hear you talking and they just be wanting you want some attention. Okay. I'm sorry. So man, he said, so you met all your homeboys when you had money. No. And see, here it go. Here it go. So all my niggas, we was all we was all in the same box, nigga. We, you know, getting it out the mud. We were just broke niggas playing video games. Y'all see when I start talking, this. Wow. Yeah, you should have went with your mama. So all me and all my homeboys, we. Mm. So we were just broke dudes living our life playing video games. We ain't had no money, you know what I'm saying? But then, oh, yo, one of the niggas came up. You know, I was the nigga came up. You know how I came up. My other niggas, them, they went to the military. Like, everybody started finding their way. You know, we started growing into life. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, I was just different. I always, even though I had a click, I still moved solo. You know what I'm saying? I, I, still, I still was a solo person. So I don't know if that put me in a situation to where my homies felt like I thought I was better than them because, you know, I heard conversation like, you know, it's okay. Let me ask y'all this. When y'all got a clique of homies, right? It going to be that one nigga that just got it. I was that one nigga that just had it, bro. Even when I was the brokest and all my homies was doing better than me, I still had more connection. I was cool with everybody. I had the swag. I, I You know, I just had it. So, I, and I'm not just saying this because I'm on the internet. My niggas get, I got my nigga from jail, he can tell you. And, and they was all older than me. I just had it, bro. You know, he can come in here. He, he could be in here soon. Like, he ain't, I ain't got a lot to y'all, bro. I was just a broke nigga that just had it, bro. I had the swag. It was just, it just was in me. You know, so I think, I think my niggas thought I, thought I was better than them. So, because I would still be solo. I still was, I was in a clique, but I still did solo missions. I still did shit by myself. You know what I'm saying? You know how niggas can be, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he said, you probably would say Lane getting bullied. <laughs> well, you sound stupid. <laughs> My nigga, I called shots at a young age, bro. Like, no lie. Um, So, bro, I ain't gonna, we ain't gonna even talk about that. But, like, man, so, so I, but, you know, get back to the point, man. We all did a lot of stuff, man, uh, and and I never heard people talk about this side of the game where a nigga, where one of your soldiers fall, bro. I never heard, I never seen 
I heard, like I said, the second Brody in here, he said he had to learn sign language for his nigga. Like, it's very rare we hear niggas, how do you help the fallen soldiers? And I'm going to be honest, bro. Let me be honest. If a nigga, if I was the, when I was out there running this shit, when I was out there doing my shit, okay, we'll react to that in a little bit. When I was out there doing my thing, bro, if a nigga would have failed, like, got shot and needed help, bro, I don't think I would, I don't think I could have did that. I'm gonna be honest, bro. So you know how strong you gotta be, my nigga. If you listen to the stuff he say he gotta do, wipe his homie ass, man, cook for him, help him. Because what do we do when we come homies and game banking? We fuck, fuck the family. So who your family now? Your homie, your family. So this why when niggas go to jail, they don't have nobody for them. Cause the homies gonna leave. And it's just like it's just like for females that turn their back on their family for a man. Ooh, nigga, that's deep. That's deep. I just hit y'all with it. Cause he a real Am I bad, way? DC? Cause he held the block down because he a demon. Is it easy to wipe his tears away? Cause he can't move. Dang, I want to listen to him. Is it easy to scratch a man back? Is it easy to feed him? Is it easy to pamper your Dang. man? Look at what that. Look at all the shit he had to do for that nigga, bro. We talking about But being violence, a real right? nigga, dog. It's easy to pick up that phone. But being a real nigga, this all the stuff he had to, to do. Free to why? Run. Because why? And, and, and you probably saying, you probably saying, why he doing it? Because I can guarantee you, he t the, 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 the real nigga that he taking care of now, I guarantee you he he said fuck the family. Because that's what we do when we join the streets. Fuck the family. My nigga's my family. But what you gotta understand is. It's them same niggas going to look out for you when you get hit. Man, boy, <laughs> let's just be honest. Let's be honest. It's them same. Yo, shout out to my nigga, bro. That's my homie right there. Yo, what's good, Black? You can let these niggas know, man. These niggas think I'll be on the internet capping, bro. Let these niggas know, man. I keep it solid, bro. I was that nigga when I was a young nigga, bro. Had it. Broke nigga. Still had the swag. Still had the hoes. No money. No cars. Tell them niggas, uh, black, that my nigga black money right there, I'ma mind you. Tell them, living in a abandoned house, my nigga, where it get rain in there. But I still had the charisma to go out and get me a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? These niggas be thinking this shit cap, man. These niggas don't know I was real pimping, man. Real pimping, you know what I'm saying? Multiple bitches, different countries, different area codes, different states. But I'm not bragging about that. I'm just saying, though, how we get caught up in a lifestyle that we don't even really, like, can I talk about it, my nigga? My nigga right there did time in prison. He not no street nigga. And if he say he a street nigga, I say he lying. And that's my, that's my, that's one of my best friends. He did street shit, but he not a street nigga. And if he say otherwise, I would disagree with him. I would disagree because we not street niggas. We, we, we play video games, play basketball, fuck bitches, drive cars. Nigga, we ain't looking to go kill nobody and take and rob nobody, but we did those things because we wanted to fit in. Ooh, I think that's at least what I think. It's not so much that we wanted to fit in. We just got lost in the sauce. And, 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 and my, one of, you know, my nigga paid for it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, and I don't, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to my nigga. I'm just saying, though. Like, I don't think we street niggas. I don't think we no street niggas, bro. You feel me? I don't think I'm a nigga that looking to commit crime. You feel me? I don't think I'm a nigga that looking to take from you, looking to murder you. I ain't that type of dude, but I have done some dangerous things because I was trying to live up to what I thought was my, I thought it was me. I don't know. I can't explain it, bro. I can't explain. What's he doing on Musty? He said, I went from the hook. I went, I just... I'm just from the hood. Exactly. How many else? Oh my God. Okay. He said, I think it's just called being a follower. Maybe. Maybe. You might be right. But that is a sad thing, though. Hold on, man. What's. I don't know what I'm doing right now, chat. Hold on. I'm trying to. we trying to chop it up. Man, you see, you should have went with your mom. What's up? Huh? What's up? All right, all right, Chad. We gonna have to.
I don't know, man. Let, let, I, let's find a video right quick. All right, let's listen to 